Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Well, we slept the night here. Again. Whoa! Nuts. I would think that would be an upgrade, being transformed into a cat. Well, that was awfully thoughtful of... Well, I'm guessing that more and more. But, well, what happened to everyone here? Nuts. What do you mean? We've seen this happen, like, what, three or four times by now? But, uh, oh yeah, almost forgot about the sage. We better check up on him. I hope he's okay. Nope, no random battles around here. I kind of like how they took out the music for this part. It makes it a little creepy. Nice touch there, game. But anyway, yeah, we should... Yeah, safe passage to get across here. Hopefully everything's okay. Uh, is he okay? He's got some sort of barrier there. Did he put that up, or did the Archfiend do that? Nope, they're all dead. Or, well, maybe not dead, but... Out of commission, let's put it that way. Isn't Counselor spelled with one L? Eh, whatever. Maybe it's one of those English or American and British English changes or something. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're done here, but... Oh. Oh. Okay, fine. Okay, well, anyway, we need to get out of here. And, well, we can't use evac or zoom in the gallows more here so we're just gonna have to walk all the way out so i'm gonna do that rearrange my equipment as i have in the video description and meet you outside okay we're back outside here most of the people if you just t examine their statues nothing happens but these guys for some reason they give you a little dialogue there but, all right. Well, yeah, that's what we've been uh, doing here. Well, it's been happening the whole game. And we sure do have a lot of orbs in this series. Orb of Light. There's an orb in the last game. But anyway, okay, yeah, we need to go to this spot and use the Orb of Truth there. Oh, I was just looking up counselor in the dictionary here. Uh, apparently both spellings are acceptable, although it does use the single L for the basic definition of the word. But anyway, this is the way we need to go. There's well, that many options. All right, now we fought these guys earlier, but that was in a boss fight setting. So this time, let's uh, try and take them out the old-fashioned way or be a little more clever this time. Now remember, the silhouette has that death dance ability, so you want to use band dance on him, so that way he can't use that. Fuddle the iron tortoise, of course. And let's see, where is it? Oh, yeah, we could use zap on them instead. And I'll have Ashlyn fuddle. Right. Yeah, Ashlyn, not a whole lot she can do here other than that. Let's see. Yeah, the Iron Tortoise, they can use that ability. Defending Champion reduces all damage by 90%. They can also cast Bounce on themselves, so you want to be a little careful there. As far as uh, magic against the Silhouette there, you could use Frizzle or Cut Frizzle on them. Uh, pretty much very strong or immune to anything else. So anyway, yeah, let's, uh, I want to try and take out the Iron Tortoise since the Silhouette has been neutered. And let's see. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm just using phys or physical attacks here because, uh, if I recall correctly, the Silhouette used Dark Haze, which nullifies all magic for the remainder of the battle. So, can't really use uh, Zap to get the job done. 
Okay, one more double up that ought to do. Awesome. But anyway, yeah, that's how you take care of those guys outside of a boss setting there. Well, I got this little building here. Let's check it out. Wonder what's with this place. Oh, uh, I guess so. Seems like a tiny prison. Uh, apparently so. Is he the guard, or was he the guard? Oh, hmm, that's weird. I wonder what he was doing there. I don't think they ever explain that. Yeah, I don't know why he's there. Like, even for, I don't know, just to randomly put it there for some reason. But, oh, hey, there's a, uh, well, another sage-looking guy. I guess he's the one I'm looking for. Let's, uh, yeah, those spikes, they will damage you, of course, so let's just save passage. Huh. Wonder what's going on. Uh-oh. Are we merging together or something, or what? Oh. Hmm. What are these guys doing? There are four lights! Nuts. Well, he's a sage. Can't you just, I don't know, nuke them or magic burst them or anything remotely useful? You're a sage! Come on. Is this an illusion, or is this actually happening? I think it's an illusion. Yeah, I mean, if this was real, why didn't they do that to begin with? That's... Uh, well, won't you die of old age eventually? Why doesn't Isaac just, I don't know... Make a barrier just like Benjamin did. I mean, he's supposed to be that much more powerful. Hmm. Yeah, not much we can do here right now. So we're going to have to go all the way back into Gallows Moor. So I will take care of that off screen when we get there. Eh, apparently not. Okay, well, yeah, we do need to get out of here. I'll meet you back downstairs then. Okay. We're back. Well, he still seems to be doing okay. Yeah, we kind of need his help. We can't really do anything about that on our own. Yep, your brother's gonna die. Unless we... Well, he's not gonna die, but... He's being tortured. So, yeah, we could use your help. Oh, well, that was fast. Well, all right, more party members. Not exactly, he won't help us in battle, but he's there in spirit. But, okay, so that's, yeah, that's everything we can do here. I will meet you back outside then. Okay, made it out. How are we doing? Well, maybe he just, re yeah, recovers rapidly. He's a fast healer part of the Bailey curse, too, for better or for worse. But anyway, yeah, we just gotta go all the way back there. We can't even uh, zoom there or anything. But I do want to do, do this on screen in the event that I run into new enemies around here. Like these guys! Okay, we got, let's see, on the left there, Disgustling and Hell Gladiator. Let's see, Disgustling, well... Actually, oddly enough, he uses uh, K-Crackle, not K-Swoosh. I would think he'd be using Wind Elemental stuff, but... Well, there it is. But anyway, yeah, not a whole lot we could do for crowd control, aside from fuddling the Iron Portis there. 
You could use Dazzle on the Disgustling, but he doesn't use that many physical attacks, so yeah, not really worthwhile. Ow! Maybe I should have used Magic Barrier instead of Fuddle. Well, anyway, let's see. The Hell Gladiator. Well, you can use the Burning Breath there. And just mostly physical attacks. He could put you to sleep with his physical attack as well, so you want to watch out for that. But as far as uh, elements to use here, let's see. Now, Iron Tortoise is strong against K Crackle, so I'd recommend sticking to Zap and the Boomstick there. Easy enough. Let's see. Uh, Frizzle could work pretty well on all of them, too. Hell Gladiator is also uh, res highly resistant to uh, Sizzle, so I wouldn't use that for damage, but all right, we made it back. Yeah, let's heal up after that one. Ow. And uh, just as far as my setup goes, I'm not really worried about status ailments, but I do want to have whoosh protection, which is why I've added uh, platinum males, enchanted armor, magical skirts to my lineup. But I did give the Sage's Stone to Navan there still. Well, yeah, that's what Archfiends do. Guess I didn't need to use that safe passage after all. Oh, well. Well, let's give it a try. Oh, it's kind of like when all of our uh, doubles or whatever were fusing together or something. Maybe these two guys are just really one guy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get anywhere with that, guys. Well, if your Archfiend is so all-powerful, why does he need these guys? Eh, he was always a jerk. Borrowing money and never paying it back. Go ahead, execute him at this point. No. No. You would think he would get used to seeing this over and over again. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, yeah, we're okay. They were just uh, jack jacking you around. Or jerking you around. Whatever. Because he's a sage? They can kind of do that sort of thing. Well, we've been doing a pretty good job so far. Well, you're fired then, I guess. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem. I wonder what Mortimer has in mind for Isaac to do, even if he did swear fealty to him. I don't know. I mean, what would he need him for? Just to not help us, I guess, or something? Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, let's get out of here. Gotta find a way to get to Mortimer's domain. Oh, okay, let's get out of here then. We're about to. Oh, nuts. I think I'm gonna send you guys to another dimension. For boss time against Bello and Cabo. I think that's how you pronounce their names. But anyway, okay, so first things first. As usual, focus strength. Carve is going to be hitting them with Knuckle Sandwich because they have no resistance to it, I think. Let's see. Rex and Navan start oomphing everyone and go with Kaba because most of their attacks are physical. Now, with these guys, they have 
somewhat of, yeah, they have an, a fixed AI script there. Uh, below goes attack, then he uses boulder toss on your entire party, then forbearance to block any attacks on uh, Kabo there. He, then he uses mid heal, then a regular stomping attack, and then meditation. I think that restores 500 HP, something like that. So yeah, we want to try and take him out fairly quickly. Getting some healing in would also be a good idea. And I've already had Rex Focus, so just use a regular attack. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think multi-heal alone is going to get the job done, so let's go with uh, both of them. Yeah, that helps us out. I don't want to have Rex uh, use Hustle Dance right now. I already have him, like, focusing on his strength and all that. But yeah, just send everything you got it below there. Let's see, another thing you could do is that uh, Kabo is actually susceptible to Set, which I'll be using on him eventually there, too. But I want to take out Kabo, or no, not Kabo, Below first, because he has all the healing and all that stuff. Uh, now, Kabo, his AI script is also fixed. He'll go attack, muster strength, a regular stomping attack. Then he just sits there and does nothing for some reason. <laughs> and then he does another stomping attack, and then selflessness, which in this context I think is basically identical to forbearance, because there's only one person for you to cover. So, whatever works there. But yeah, let's uh, just go with a good double-edged slash. Ow. Eh, I'm not really worried about the damage. Wow. And that was without uh, killing his defense there. Go Carver. Okay, now we should be able to take out Kabo fairly quickly. And yeah, let's go with that. Okay, all of our defense is maxed now, so we should be in pretty good shape. Just, I want to try and kill Blow before he can get in another one of those boulder tosses on us. That hurts a lot. So let's, uh, yeah, just go with that. Did... No, I was thinking about the uh, focus strength. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. Alright, got it. Okay, that makes the rest of this a lot easier. Now we can pretty much just take our time. I could have Rex cast Sap also, but since I had him focus strength in the last round, I don't want to let that go to waste. So we'll just go with just a single uh, Sap there for now. He doesn't have that much defense anyway. It's more like I just don't have anything better for Ashlyn to do. Okay. Well, we should almost have him, considering all the damage we dealt to him earlier. Okay, that's the last of it. Ha-ha! Got him. So, yeah, pretty easy boss fight there. Didn't even need Insulatol or... Oh, we got Mini Metal number 100. All right. Yeah, we didn't even need Magic Barrier or anything. Yeah, Magic Barrier and Insulatal, they do nothing against Boulder Toss and all that stuff. So, yeah, not a whole lot we could do to reduce that damage, unfortunately. Oh. Well, that was easy. Oh. Well, yeah, they're twins. What did you expect? But what can the sages do for us? Can we find our way to Mortimer's domain? And what do we get for all collecting 100 mini metals? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.